balloons. One and a half million of them caused quite a stir in Cleveland yesterday. It was part of a fundraiser for the United Way. Our report takes off with Neil Zercher. The volunteers were pouring in all night long, and by dawn it looked like a helium mountain rising out of Public Square. Inside the Balloon Mountain, thousands of volunteers were working as fast as they could to keep adding to the 1.5 million needed to set a new world's record. A record that nearly escaped them when a storm late last night caused the release of several thousand balloons. It was very hairy. My crew, who was just getting ready to turn in, had everything set for the morning, and we lost uh, 25 of the big inflatables that you see. It took off the whole side of this fabric over here. So we had to work straight through right until the time the crew got here, and they got the bin ready. While the leak was corrected, Pining was still concerned by late morning about the weather today. The blues are going to be inflated by about noon. So if it starts to look like rain, we might just pull a number and release them early. That's something I've got to discuss with the United Way. His concern was well-founded as 2 p.m. approached a rain storm started moving in from the lake and it was decided to launch the balloons early. The balloons like a giant cloud rose over the square while others tumbled and danced against the buildings. The crowd loved it. It was beautiful. It looked like confetti going up. That was great. Totally awesome. I was surprised. I loved it. It was so great. Oh, it just loved Oh, my God. It was great. I loved it. The balloons at first drifted south, but then the wind changed, and they moved back across the downtown area and started descending onto Burke Lakefront Airport and filled the Cleveland Harbor. The crew of a Coast Guard helicopter said they felt like they were flying through an asteroid field as the balloons rained down. Rainstorm was blamed for the short-lived flight of the balloons, which had been expected to spread far and wide after being released. That's our report this half hour. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Walker. Around the world in 30 minutes, this is Headline News.